Hi guys, Kyle from Garden Nature here, and today I'm going to show you how to connect Wi Fi camera to the solar panel and then install it in the bird box. Okay, so by now you should have paired your Wi Fi camera with our free Nistera Bird Cam app. If you haven't completed this step, you can watch our instruction video here and it gives you all the steps you need to be able to do that to view the camera on the app and set that up. It's a very easy process, but there is an instruction video. Go watch it, check it out, come back when you're ready. So to install the Wi-Fi camera, we need to begin by sliding out the camera tray in the top of the bird box, just like so. What that has is a bracket there for us to be able to attach this camera to. But before we can do that, what we need to do is remove the little rubber bung from the bottom here that allows us access to the little charging port. And what we're going to do is take our little 2.4 meter charging cable that we have, which connects us to our solar panel and plug that straight into the bottom just there. I'm just going to pop that in there. Just give it a little bit of a push. You should feel a little bit of a click in there. We know that's now in there nice and secure. That is fine to just sit there. What we then need to do is just slide that under our bracket here and line up the thread on the inside of the camera with the hole that we have in the top of the bracket. And then the small little screw that we have that came with that is just pop that in there and then use a screwdriver to just tighten that into position. Once we're happy that the camera is nice and secure on that bracket, and it's got like no, not much room to move around, we then slide that draw back in, making sure the cable exits to, as you look at the front, the cable will exit to the right. We'll notice on the front of the box here that there is a little groove for the cable to come out, and that will be able to run under the eaves of the front of the box, where you'll notice there is a little cable clip on the back of the box. So obviously what we have to do is take that little cable clip off, just with the screwdriver. So we'll just take that off from the side. Now we do use galvanized and stainless steel fixings, so there's no rust or corrosion within the wood um, of our box here. Um, so we just take that off. We'll then slide our drawer back in the front, just like that, the camera attached. We then have our excess cable that we can run under the eaves. And we'll just pop our little bracket, a little cable clip over the cable, and we'll secure that back into position. Just bear with me a second while I put that on. Sometimes laying the box down is much easier to do that. Just line that up and screw that back into position. Just making sure that there's no slack on that cable there. It's nice and tight, it's secure under the eaves. Just gives it that little bit of protection as it exits the bird box. No problems at all. Okay, that's the camera and the box ready to go. So the next step we need to move on to is the solar panel. So we've managed to get the mount attached to the back of the solar panel using the two screws that were provided. We've also managed to complete the connection between the solar panel and the camera uh, with that weatherproof connection. And we've got that screwed up nice and tight so it's weatherproof. And then we've managed to turn the power on for the solar panel. We've now got constant power being supplied to the camera. What we need to do now is remove the center panel from the bird box so that we've got access to the fixing hole that allows us to screw it into position. Very simply, just a, a small screwdriver will allow you to remove the two screws from the center panel to take that off. So just very quickly, just to show you how simple that is. One and two, that now comes off. So we're now ready to take everything outside to where you want to hang your bird box. You get the long screw that comes with the whole protector set and using a screwdriver to run it through the small pre-drilled hole in the back of the box to fix it to a wooden fence post or something similar. If you're fixing it to a tree, we recommend using either an aluminium or a nylock screw, which won't rust over time and potentially damage the tree, or use wire around the tree trunk to hold the bird box in place. However, if you're using wire, it's worth remembering that trees grow in girth as well as length, so please do check the fixing every year and adjust as necessary. Once the bird box is securely in place, reattach the centre panel and you can then attach one of the two metal entrance hole protector plates. Um, although this is optional, um, but it does give you a bit of extra protection against predators if you have them in your area. Um, and then finally, what you can do is fix the solar panel's mount in a place nearby and adjust the angle of the solar panel for optimum sunlight. But that's it. Well done. All there is to do now is wait for the birds to find your bird box and start building the nest.
Don't forget our free Nostera bird cam app has handy motion detection instant alerts so you'll be notified the moment birds start using it. Um, we've made our app really easy to use but if you'd like to watch an instruction video on how to use it and how to share uh, access to your camera's feed with friends and family you can do that by clicking the thumbnail just here but as always guys thanks for watching and good luck with the nesting season ahead.